Hey, what's up everybody? It's Brooklyn Prepper. How you guys doing? Alright, a little update video. I'm just hanging out in the garage working on the beast. Alright, what I got going on. I got the racks off. Right here. I gotta sand these all down and, and get them all primed and paint. But anyway, you know, I was gonna make this... The engine, everything is good on this machine. Right? And I was gonna make it a quick overhaul project, but knowing me... I'm going deeper and deeper and deeper. I'm probably one that's going to have all the plastic off and everything because I want to get into every nook and cranny, right? Because every time I, I'm looking around, I'm finding little things. I want to do the best I can. That's just me. I got to get this front bumper off, right? That has the bend in this pipe here, right? And it's a pain in the neck because they, they got it tied into everything. You know, you got to take a million bolts out. But why not? Once I take that off, I say, why not? I took the front... Uh, uh, splash guards from the rods there and everything and they're pretty shot so I think I'm gonna get a new one of these right I took them off so I could check all the rods and make sure everything's kosher in there right the winch I checked the winch it's good it works really fine right I don't think it had too much use on it right? and that's what's going on with this beast right now I think you know it has dings and a couple of dents and stuff all over the place which annoys me, I know, baby. You you had a bad first owner. I know. I'm gonna take care of it now. I'm gonna turn you back into the beast that you were. Right? We'll go to a couple of therapy sessions together and everything's gonna be okay. You're gonna be back out in the trails again. Alright, but anyway, this is what we got going on with it. I got the back rack off. You know, the plastic's in decent shape, but it has its classic uh scratches all over the place. With a heat gun, I'm going to try to remove as much of the plastic as I can. There's a dent in the back plastic right there. And with the heat gun, I'm going to try to heat it up, pull the plastic up from the bottom. You'd be amazed. I'll show you as I'm doing the heat gun stuff. And you got a quad. I'm sure there's a, a thousand videos on it. But I use the heat gun to get rid of a lot of the scratches. All right. I got, I got some of the airsoft stuff I'm working on. I put, I put some... Uh, I got some uh, Amoeba motors for the airsoft guns, and I did some shim job on them. Right? I got, I did, I did a custom. This is a WinPro hop up. Well, for you guys that are into airsoft, it's a WinPro hop up, and I did a custom flat hop on it, right, to make the BBs more straight, accurate, and they go further distance. So I'm working on this gun. I got these guns. That's what I got going on there. Hey, I. Got some coffee. This is Ethiopian from Yankee Prepper. Always gotta have that. I just roasted some this morning. Right? I got I bought a new Beretta clip and I definitely, definitely paid way too much for it. Right? Anyway, and I bought these clips. I seen a couple of these clips. They weren't that expensive. I think they were I I forget what I paid for them, but if any of you guys ever used them before, let me know. Right? I'm gonna give them a shot in the ARs. That's that. I got the beast over here that I'm finally starting to work on again. I got the carburetors pulled on it, and they're all cleaned out, and jets and everything is good. All right? I've got to work on the controls. I think they're good. It's everything. I can get everything going again. I just I got, I got to fix it up. I might have to look for some uh, some parts, but that's about it. But hopefully, I'll have this going by the end of the summer. This is the. 1976 KZ900. All right, we got the snock moped. My son's tearing this part soon, and he's gonna redo this whole thing. And I got some good stuff going on, you know, going on. And anyway, I'm looking forward to making more videos. And yes, I'm still prepping. When you're a prepper, you're a prepper for life. You know, I gotta, I gotta organize my stuff a little bit better. I gotta get back up there and organize a lot of this stuff. But anyway. This is the man has his where I've lost my coffee. And I got a cuckoo clock. And it doesn't work. And I gotta figure out how to get it timed right. It has all these little strings. Right? I'm really into the cuckoo clock for some reason. I want it to work. Anybody knows about cuckoo clocks, let me know. It works. If I set it, it, it like it like it went off at like three o'clock in the morning, scared the hell out of everybody in the house. Right? My coffee is going low. My coffee is going low. I gotta give Yankee Prepper a call. All right? Well, that's what I got going on, guys. I like, I'm happy, I'm feeling good. I'm gonna make some good videos coming up again, and 
And stay tuned. I've got plenty of water for now. But anyway, I'll talk to you soon. I'll keep you updated on the beast.